audio is probably terrible. We've had about 16 inches of snowfall since February 1st. And uh, this nice little wind came up and is making berms everywhere. So I just wanted to show you guys what we're dealing with right now. This is our little alleyway to the four-wheeler and the wood pile. I'm gonna have to shovel this out once, this, once the wind stops. The other terrible part is looking under the woodshed. Yeah, that's no fun. Look at this little berm on the side of my snowmobile. I am only out here to show you guys that you know what? Let's step inside here for a second. Uh, I only came outside to show you guys kind of around and what's going on. It's uh, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. I think it's gusting to 50 right now. I know, you know, that's not terrible, but after 16 inches of snow, I'm telling you what, it's pretty terrible. Uh, snow is everywhere it shouldn't be. And, um, I'm going to have to deal with it all. Right now, uh, let's just say today, Bonnie and I and Emma are staying inside. There's nothing to do. Uh, you can't work in this. And even if you wanted to try to remove the snow, the berms and such, um, they're just going to form right back up. So we just have to ride this out. Uh, wait till the wind stops. And once that happens, then I'll come out, assess the damage, and start removing snow. Um, they said that it was supposed to be done by noon today. It's almost noon, so uh, I'm hoping for just this uh, light switch to turn off and the wind to stop. I hate wind. I, I, I don't mind any other weather. I hate wind. Um, I just don't like it. So it's, it's, uh, it only causes work out here. All right, guys. Oh, glorious day. <clears throat> the wind has finally stopped. I think we put up with it for almost 48 hours, just nonstop. I mean, it just hammered us. It was hard to sleep at night, you know, kind of almost rocking our cabin a bit, if you will. So I just want to show you guys, <clears throat> you know, some of these, uh, these drifts here that happened. I'm just going to take the high spots and throw it into the low spots. There's no sense in trying to get rid of all this snow. You can see right here where Howie's sitting. And I'm just going to take that berm up by the swing set and throw it in the low spot. Uh, level it all out and then pack the trails. Pretty basic. I got to keep it simple. Use as little energy as you need to. Or you have to, I should say. It's kind of an eerie look today. But I'm happy because the wind's not blowing. All right, I got to get busy. That's kind of gross, right? So that's uh, our little mulch pile, little mulch bucket, if you will. Some chores don't get done when it's windy. So it's kind of piling up. So, hey, um, I was showing you the berms earlier. It's only about an hour later. The sun has completely come out. Ta-da! And I'll just give you a quick glimpse what I did here. Yeah, so that berm just uh, knocked it down, put it into the low spot, and it didn't take me very long at all, maybe 15 minutes. I have come across a couple of things that are not going to be fun. I'll show you here. So I started to chip away at this snow berm here. You can kind of see the enormity of it with that uh, scoop in there. So I thought, well, I need to check the generator box. There was a tiny little drift on the back side of it. I opened it up and obviously the generator was in there. All the other empty space was filled with snow. 
Oh, I'm hoping that the snow didn't get caked inside so bad like in the carburetor and air filter and all that. So before I start it up, I'll, I'll go into it and check the, all that out. Um, one of the other things I'm worried about, let's check this out. All that snow burned up on the back side here. So, so I'm kind of worried about when I open these engine compartments, again, just like the generator box, they might be chocked full of snow. That's another chore that I gotta do. You can see that berm there is probably my biggest chore. So I'm gonna be slowly chipping away at it. And I need to take my time because um, pushing into that, that berm with that scoop uh, was really working my shoulders. So um, I started to feel a little twang, uh, twinge, whatever you wanna call it, in my shoulders. So I need to uh, pace myself. All right, time to take a break and have a little fun. Got the family out sledding. <laughs> How'd you do there, Peanut? Oh, she found the snow. Bonnie just asked me about dinner, what we want for dinner tonight so she can take something out of the freezer. She said, have you been to the cellar yet? Does it need to be shoveled out? Let's go down and take a look. Okay, so this little wall right here, that's the wall that I built um, for the north winds. I'm pointing north there. Yeah, for the most part, I'm pointing north. That's south, obviously. So this wall was to protect the cellar from the north winds. For the last 48 hours, we've had south winds. So I didn't do anything about that. All right. That right there. Uh, see where the tip of the bushes are? That's the cellar. That is about head height. So all of this in front of me here, this huge, this, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. At least it's sunny. At least the wind is not blowing and I'm healthy. So, uh, those are all positives. You know what? My dad always told me a little story about uh, him having to muck out the barn. It was a big old barn. They had milk cows. And all he had was a grain shovel and a, uh, and a wheelbarrow. And he just took one shovel full at a time. And it took him a while, but eventually he got it. So that is the, uh, the method in the way I'm gonna tackle that, one shovel full at a time. We've gotta get into the cellar, lots of food in there. One shovel full at a time. The nice thing about this alleyway here is, unlike the cellar, is I can use this bad mama jamma here. Then I only have to shovel the edges and shovel the cellar out. But I'm gonna take a quick lunch break. I get uh, low blood sugar, you know, get a little cranky. It won't come across on camera, but uh, usually my wife gets the brunt of it, and that's not okay. I need to make sure I'm getting the food I need. Thankfully, my wonderful wife is making lunch for me. So, lunch break, we'll be back at it shortly. Well, I'm gonna call it quits for today. I did get two of our main machines, our snowmobiles, cleaned out just as I suspected. The engine compartments were completely chocked full of snow. It was jam packed in there actually. Well, I got them warmed up, I got that all cleaned out. I got the woodshed mostly cleaned out. It was kind of a pain hunching over in there. Uh, my back was starting to ache, so I took a break from that, but I got that mostly done. The four wheeler actually wouldn't start for me after lunch. So I put it back in its little hole and uh, did the rest with a scoop. And this alleyway here, I got that all cleaned up. 
like I said, with the scoop because the four-wheeler wasn't working. I still have to get this approach right here coming down to this alleyway. That's a lot of snow in there. I did get the cellar all cleaned out. It only took me about an hour. One shovel full at a time. You know, I had to shovel the snow out and put it somewhere. I figured I may as well make a wall around this. This thing looks like a World War II bunker. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to help at all with the north or the south winds. We'll find out. I think our work days out here, specifically in winter, um, only last about four or five hours. I mean, not just the daylight that we get, but uh, the work is so physical, especially removing all this snow and I don't know, just, just all this stuff that we have to do out here. Um, it gets pretty taxing. So four to five hours is a typical work day out here, which is kind of nice. I'm not complaining. So we're gonna call it a day. As you can see, the sun's still shining, but it is getting ready to set. And the temperature is dropping because there is not a cloud in the sky here. I, it's just absolutely beautiful day. There I go again. I'm gonna go in, warm up my toes, warm up my fingers, and play a little with my daughter. She just woke up from her nap. The enormity of it, the, 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 the. Are you having fun? You want more? The Monte Brothers. <laughs>